Right, welcome along guys. I race into town for routine maintenance, so I thought I'd use this time productively and get the room tour done. I've been meaning to do this for a long time and we all know everybody loves a room tour. So hopefully this answers a few questions that have been asked about what equipment I'm using on the rig, what's going on behind me in the room, stuff like that. So if you like the video guys, give us a big thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not yet subscribing, you might want to consider clicking subscribe for future content. Right, let's go. All right then. Excuse the squeaky horror door. We'll close that behind me. So straight away, you can see the PSR1 from Pro Sim Rig, and you can't miss the acoustic treatment in the room. So this is also a music studio. I'm a music producer. I produce minimal and dub techno. So we'll get to that side of the room shortly. But we'll start over here, because this is why I would imagine most of you are watching so the psr1 from pro sim rig absolutely stunning aluminium profile rig so we'll start with a seat this is a sparko grid q bucket seat now i originally placed this order with a company i won't name the company and i received a text message to say they've received the order then the following day another text message to say it was being processed and then on the third day another text message to say it was being processed again so i didn't have much faith in this company so i spoke to martin at race anywhere and asked him if he had any in stock he said he did so i cancelled the order at the previous company ordered it with martin and he sent it out within the hour and i received it the very next day at a great price as well so if you're not familiar with race anywhere check them out i think it's raceanywhere.co.uk i'll put a link in the description for you to check them out so as for the rig then uh, if you're wondering why that's just sat on the profile, it's because uh, this came free with my PC. Didn't have any vest mounts for me to mount it correctly, so it's just kind of sat there. It's doing what I need it to do for now, so I'm not too fussed about changing it. Um, the GT1 from Sim Racing Coach doing the job. Really happy with that wheel. I broke it. It snagged on my old rig over a year ago now, and I was able to fix it with a soldering iron and some tin foil, remarkably. So I have got a replacement to change from inside there, but while it's not broken, I'm not gonna risk it. Down here then, the Husingveld Ultimate Pedals. Really happy with these, beautiful bit of kit. Um, yeah, just about getting them dialed in and they go and release that upgraded kit. So the new software and everything. So I'm yet to have a look at that. There's no rush while they're uh, Doing the job for me. I don't really need to change anything there. Logitech shifter. I don't think this was on the rig when I did the the first rig look and review. Um, and it can come off now because iRacing have now changed the Mazda to a sequential gearbox. So it was the only reason I bought that and put that little mod on it. So it's a little bit of a nicer shift. We don't need that anymore. So that can come off. Um... Down here then, you've got some weirdly placed monitor speakers. That's just to stop my dogs getting around the back and just generally pissing about behind there. We don't want that. Um, the PC, nothing fancy going on back there whatsoever. It's an i7-8700, uh, 32 gig of RAM, which we've just recently upgraded to, and a GTX 1070, believe it or not. Still going strong in there. So... The newer LED light panel obviously lights me up there when I'm uh, recording. Capturing everything there with the Logitech C920, pretty standard practice again. I've got my old webcam taped on to my radiator, which just is on them pedals. Electrician's tape there, never too far away because we're always bodging. Emergency stop sat in the cup holder because I don't really need that cup holder. Uh, did I mention the fan? Tower fan at the back keeping me cool. Modem sat on the top. Fake plant providing lots of oxygen for me to breathe in while I'm racing. Alien Covenant poster. Keeping the nerdy stuff going. Obviously the Star Wars screensaver desktop background there, whatever you'd call that. So a big Star Wars fan, big sci-fi fan to be honest. As you'll see. With stuff dotted about the place. Audio Technica BPHS1 headset. Now we've changed these pads here. 
uh, the ear pads. These are from Brainwaves. We've changed them twice. The first one was a memory foam that we got. Very comfortable, but get a bit itchy if you're wearing them for prolonged periods of time, which obviously we all do when we're sim racing a couple of hours ago. So not comfortable, got a bit itchy, were a bit warm. So we replaced them for the fake leather ones, perforated holes. They're a little bit more forgiving in the heat. Simicube 2 power packs there, sat on another monitor speaker. I'm really sorry for this cable management, guys, but I'm not I'm not bothered enough about it to do something about it. I'll get there one day, but it's not it's not a priority. I don't see it when I'm racing. You guys don't see it when you're watching, hopefully. So it's not at the top of the list. We'll go around here uh, and I'll show you the Simicube 2. Obviously, you've seen all these before, but Simicube 2 Pro there. Again, horrendous cable management all over the place. So I think that about covers the rig. The reason nothing's connected here to the headset is because it's in use at the moment in the music studio, which we'll get to in a second. Boots and gloves. Standard practice down there. Um, LED lights underneath the rig. I can control all them with that. So, yeah, everything you see as part of this rig comes as the, the PSR1 pack. So, apart from the seat, but the monitor stand, the fourth monitor stand, the mat. Yeah, everything that you see there comes with it. So check the video out, I'll, I'll post a link up uh, at the top and I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy one of them if you're interested. Uh, I think much better priced than Simlab, which is the go-to. And if you're a UK resident, there's no import tax, obviously, on the PSR one. Um, and it's absolutely rock solid. It literally hasn't budged or missed a beat since we've had it. So yeah, really pleased with that. Moving over here then grandfather clock grandmother clock whichever one it is little project i've got going on that's going to be a whiskey cabinet to put my whiskies in um psr t-shirt from race anyway martin was very kind enough to send me one of them so would you call this a fitness station i try and keep fit as much as i can it's not as easy the wrong side of 40 but you know you do what you can down here then is the poster from the very first gig that I headlined, the very first big gig that I headlined. So it was a party put on by Riff Raff. So if you're familiar with the Northeast dance music scene, you'll know all about Riff Raff. Really big party. So I couldn't thank the guys enough for putting me on that party. Really pleased with that. A um, couple of masks there from Africa, I believe, that my parents brought me back from their travels one year. Over here then. The music studio, so I've got a track cooking currently. You can have a little sneak peek. Beautiful stuff. So we'll have that hopefully released by the end of the year. I'm not too sure. If you want to check out any of my music, it's all on iTunes. Caltech is my alias. Spelt like that. Check it out. Um, so this then, if you're not familiar, most of you guys will be sim guys. So you won't really know what this stuff is, I wouldn't have thought. So for your benefit, guys, this is the Husingveld Ultimate of Drum Machines. The Electron Rhythm beautiful piece of kit so as much as i love all this stuff this was always my first hobby djing music production and this is my favorite piece of kit in the room really nice drum machine analog drum machine as well everyone's going digital everyone's moving to the digital world in music production you can't beat the analog circuitry the analog sound it's much warmer you're bored already you don't care about this stuff this is the ableton push controls this basically um the audion id 22 is the audio interface that runs everything over here i also run all of that with it as well so obviously it, it plugs in there it just sits on there and everything plugs in to that we don't need to again i'll get around to it one day but it's not important um 
Adam A7X monitor speakers, the best monitor speakers I've owned for sure. And um, I think the best I've ever heard. Absolutely stunning sound quality coming from them. So if you are interested, if you're in the market, if you've got all this stuff and you're looking for monitor speakers, because a lot of us PC gamers and stuff like that, you want good sound as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can't beat these. They are a bit on the pricey side, but you get what you pay for. Absolutely stunning sound quality. So check them out if you're interested. That's Bob Dylan. Uh, big issue that me uh, me dad gave me to have a little read through. We haven't had a look at that yet. That's a Quran, believe it or not, if you're wondering why I've got a Quran there. I'm not a religious man at all. I was raised Catholic by my parents, um, but I wouldn't consider myself religious these days. But I found that, and I like it. I like the look of the book. It's a nice-looking book. So I've got it in my studio for some reason. We've also got another plant providing masses of oxygen from its fake plastic leaves. Uh, a couple of books where I keep my notes when I'm making music. T-800, Terminator Head, Alien Quadrilogy, Egg, DVD, housing thing, a couple of Star Wars dudes. Viking Dude. Now this, this little fella, the Akai GXC46D, cassette player recorder. Okay. Ask your parents, kids, if you're not sure what that is. So if I ever make drums, if I ever make beats over here, I, that's my drum machine. I do make 99% of my beats on there. But if I ever create beats using this, which is a digital controller, I run the audio through this and then back into there because it just picks up that authentic, rusty, warmer sort of sound. Studio Beans. Now, these aren't essential in a music studio, but the word to me when I first started, so my very first music studio i built the the desk myself and i had a piece of wood going across the middle and the, the monitor was making the wood sag in the middle so i put them there they're well out of date 2014 there you go i'll probably explode one day so they stay with me they've moved through three music studios now with me i'll keep them as long as i can a couple of uh synthesizers in there a couple of books from my university days sound engineering sound design science fiction stuff like that more acoustic treatment the the curtains are normally closed for acoustic purposes i've got them open now just to shed a little bit of light on the room obviously we've got that treated um if you're not familiar with music studios sound design stuff like that um your speaker placement is key. You sit in an equilateral triangle, okay? You could probably do, if you're a gamer, if you're a PC gamer and you want the perfect sweet spot for your sound, this is where you sit. You measure cone to cone, okay? And an equilateral triangle coming out, and this is your this is your position, okay? That's your mix position or seating position. Uh, and then, obviously, straight above that is the treatment. And then where this points over there is your first area of reflection. You treat that area. That's why we have treatment on there. We have treatment there because this is the first area of reflection for this speaker, going that way. And then obviously we treat straight behind. We, straight, we treat straight above and we treat behind. Now, this is why the curtains are normally closed there because acoustically you don't want your sound waves bouncing off reflective surfaces. You don't want any reflective surfaces in a music studio which is why this isn't ideal with all these reflective surfaces over here but you know i have two hobbies now so it is, it is what it is when we got the room and the house rewired i asked for some sockets down here to tidy everything up and i'm not sure i've achieved it, it i think it's probably more messy than anything so that might have been a bit of a mistake back there we've just got a load of soft furnishings it's a bit of a mess that is actually the secondary glazing from this window. It's got all the original windows in this house. So it's called um, without. So we had emer uh, emergency. We had secondary glazing fitted. So it's just panels like that, basically, that make up that until we get around to replacing the windows, which is a very expensive job. So buy my music. Not that that's going to pay for it, like, but... Um, so yeah, just loads of soft furnishings behind here, loads of horrible pillows that I will last one let me put anywhere else in the house. So they're down there providing warmth and acoustic treatment for that. So that, guys, is the room.
Right, there you go, guys. There's the room tour 2021. We'll update this as and when we get new equipment, I'm sure. Hopefully, you weren't too bored with the music production stuff. I know 99% of you are here for the sim racing stuff, but we're all the same kind of nerd here, in my mind. The sim racing stuff, the PC gamer, it all kind of links in. So hopefully, we'll you know get some people in who, who might be interested in that sort of stuff as well. So if you like the video, guys, give us a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you're not yet subscribing, you might want to consider clicking that button down there for future content. Cheers, guys. We'll see you on the next one.